Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising from the 27th of July to the 2nd of August 2020. I hope you're well Capricorn. So I'm using the Druid Tarot deck to pull an overarching message or energy for you. And we have the Prince of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Message for Capricorn, please, for the week. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Capricorn for the week, please. We have new skills, advanced training, advanced training, I should say, rapid improvements. And angels, what is the message for Capricorn, please? A message for Capricorn. We have in the near future. Let's get another message, please. Okay. We have no need to worry. Peaceful resolution. Nice energy. Okay, Capricorn, so I pull five cards. It's interesting, sorry, I pull four cards. The first card is you. Second card is your challenge. Third card is advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we will clarify the cards to go deeper into the message. It won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So this is the Tarot Royale, and I'll be clarifying with the Morgan Greer Tarot deck. Now just mind my voice, I am suffering with allergies at the moment, so <laughs> it may go a little bit. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn, please? Message for Capricorn. Okay. Oh, nice, the Empress. This is you. Seven of Pentacles is your challenge, Capricorn, Taurus energy. We have Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy again. Taurus, uh, the Six of Pentacles came out in your overarching energy as well. This, this is advice from Spirit. And the Eight of Cups is your outcome. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Capricorn, please? Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is clarified by the Eight of Cups. Interesting, you know, two Eight of Cups now. Two Six of Pentacles. We've got the Six of Swords clarifying the Six of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords clarifies the Eight of Cups. And bottom of the deck, Capricorn, we have the World. Okay, okay, I'm going to get one clarifier. I'm going to get a clarifier for this Queen of Swords. clarify this Queen of Swords, please? I did say Queen of Swords, didn't I? Queen of Swords energy. Can we clarify the Queen of Swords, please? Again, we have two Libra energies as well. I mean, Taurus and Libra, quite predominant here. Clarify this Queen of Swords, please. The Hermit. You 
know it's interesting Capricorn bottom of the deck here is the page of pentacles I'm going to put that down I feel it's poignant for some of you okay so we have the six of pentacles this can be about this is the universe saying to you it's your time to receive it can be linked with windfalls um, inheritance getting your due in terms of money you know something that you're owed maybe um, it is also about your energy it's linked with the law of attraction what you put your energy into now you will get back so make sure you're putting your energy into the right direction and not wasting it on things that you're not going to get reward for and that's kind of like one of the messages that's coming out of this reading because for some of you there's a message of there's there's gain to be had there is yeah there's some kind of like gain to be had I feel it's to do with your money and career here though for some of you I mean it could be relationships as well you know it's a general reading but the energy remains the same so for some of you it is about putting your energy into the right direction now and again that's what the knight of wands or the prince of wands is saying it's time to it can be a card for me as a reader the knight of wands of getting back on the horse charging ahead going for what you want now he is the opportunist he is very much about he's fired up he is taking action to go for what he wants in terms of power, opportunity, success. You know, there is growth ahead. There is potential ahead, you know. So I certainly feel for some of you, it is putting your energy in the right direction. Now, the Knight of Wands can also be an offer, an opportunity coming your way. Can be as a person in terms of passions. Can also be in terms of an opportunity, money, career maybe. I do feel for some of you, you are being told that things will resolve themselves with the peaceful resolution. There's no need to worry and it's in the near future. That is what the angels are saying. But you need to put your energy in the right direction because the only way that the universe can help you is by working with you in tandem to bring this, this resolution your way. So I feel that's where, again, the new skills, advanced training, rapid improvement is. Again, it's, a, it's an energy of putting your practical skills, knowledge, experience to bring positive change in your life. Could be in terms of money, career. Like I said, it can also be in relationships. Um, for some of you, I mean, this feels more business career for me. Uh, certainly with the new skills, advanced training, rapid improvement. Obviously, if you've gone through a difficult time, you might be refocusing on your career as well. Um, you might be retraining, you might be started, starting up a new business, you might be looking for new jobs. Um, it's all to play for here. So do the practical things that you need to do to make yourself attractive in the marketplace. Um, but very, very nice energy. Because I do feel for some of you, now Capricorn, <laughs> it's interesting, what I'm feeling here, if it was a relationship or if part of this reading was a relationship, we have the Empress and we have the Queen of Swords here. This could be a woman who has been divisive in dividing or in terms of bringing separation in a relationship. It's not for everybody, but for some of you, it can maybe represent a third party uh, coming in between you and your partner. Um, so yeah it's interesting I did get that energy and I, I rarely get that energy but I did get it when I, I touched those cards so it might well be for some of you because you know this is something that you're healing from as well um, it's not for everybody like I said but that was one of the kind of things that I was feeling um, the five of pentacles is about feeling lack and like I said it could have been caused by a woman in particular um, I'm feeling the female energy strongly here. Five of Pentacles is again linked with the law of attraction. What you put out to the universe is what you get back. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy with the fives. They are disruptive energy and they're very consuming. So for some of you, your money could have been affected, your career could have been affected, your foundation, foundational relationship could have been affected here. Could be by this person or by the situation that's happened here. Either way, you have been challenged, either in terms of relationships or money aspects. Um, and it's very easy to feel lack in this situation. 
The message is do the practical things with the six of pentacles appearing twice. You need to put your energy in a positive way, however difficult, in order to move on from this situation. It's putting your energy in the right direction. Some of you might be looking at your career and money to bring solidity and security into your life. Um, doing the practical things that you need to do in order to move on from this situation because this is a, a self-fulfilling self prophecy if you put the the lack out to the universe you will only get lack back you know and the universe absolutely wants you to be to receive um a gift now a positive reward and um, but you can only do it by putting your energy in the right direction the empress as an energy is if it's not a, a woman in particular the Empress is embracing the new. She is about now is the time to co-create the new. Uh, she's such a positive energy. She's inspirational. She is intuitive. Um, and she is somebody who will put her energy in the right direction in order to co-create a new reality for herself. She's surrounded by abundance. She creates her paradise on earth. And she does that by knowing that she lacks for nothing. You see the butterfly, it represents the transformation that is available to you when you understand that you really lack for nothing in really embracing the new and co-creating a new reality for yourself. Um, this is about manifesting a new reality for yourself now. Can be to do with the birth of something new. So that can be to do with, can be to do with um, money areas, so career, money, business can also be to do with um, love, relationships too, which is why I'm feeling that obviously the message is more, more important than exactly what category we're putting this reading in. Um, because she covers both. She covers money and also love areas. She's Venus energy. So she's the promise of something wonderful and she wants you to make a new reality happen for yourself. She's saying embrace the new. It's time to embrace the new because there's something wonderful ahead. So don't let the energy of lack stop you from creating a new reality for yourself. And again, I'm just thinking certainly as your challenge, your challenge is to focus on the facts of the situation. Um, the information in front of you can also be to do with where you're placing your energy and time. So this is about good things come to those that are patient, but you have to keep on persevering to bring reward into your life. But the reward is gonna come faster if you focus on what is gonna bring you reward and spend your time and energy on that. This is about if you focus your time and energy on what is making you feel lack, you know, there's only just gonna be delay. You will only stay frustrated in this energy. So there's a message again about putting your positive practical efforts to the test putting your time and energy in the right direction in order to bring positive growth in your life. Now, it comes for some of you, and I do feel that you are saying goodbye to a situation, a relationship, a job, a career, a partnership, whatever this is. This is somebody who is walking away from something that, <laughs> sometimes it hasn't lived up to hope or expectation, but they want something more. They want something more fulfilling. You know, and certainly with this Five of Pentacles next to it, I feel for some of you with the Empress, you want something more fulfilling, you know? Um, yeah. Now, I will say, some of you might have walked away from a job, a business, a career, because you needed more money, or you weren't getting the money that you deserved, or there could have been changes in terms of your money and career, which meant that you have to walk away and find something new, you know? Um, so that could also mean that for some of you. I do feel the advice from Spirit is to focus on a new vision, a new direction and move away from troubled waters. Put your energy into the right area and this is about focusing on a new vision and detach from what's gone because that, that's how you move forward Capricorn. The sixes are rebalancing energy so where there has been imbalance and disruption this is about doing the practical things that you need to do to rebalance your life. Being told also that the universe is saying, it's your time to receive, you're gonna get what you need here. Um, but you need to put your energy in the right direction, detach from things that don't serve you anymore. So it's a powerful, powerful energy of transition because there's something better ahead. So this is turn your back on what's gone, say goodbye to it. Now for some of you, like I said, with the Queen of Swords, there could have been somebody in this situation that has been divisive. 
Um, I mean, obviously that could be a money career. That could be in terms of that could be in terms of love relationships as well, Capricorn. Um, the energies of these cards, we have the Virgo energy, the Hermit, heal from what's gone. This is shining the light from within in order to overcome any barriers, limitations, things that stop you from raising your energy from within to move forward in your external environment. So the Hermit is a card of finding answers from within on how you need to move forward and then taking action on those answers that you find from within. And I feel for some of you, you are with the Eight of Cups. You're finally turning your back on a situation that has made you feel lack or unstable or unsettled, financially or in love in a situation. And you know, the Queen of Swords is somebody who is getting balanced. She is about getting balanced back in your life. And I feel this was your energy here, where there could have been some instability. I feel you are getting balanced back in your life. She is somebody who has balance within, who then understands how to bring balance, make balanced decisions, balanced choices, see the truth of the situation in a balanced perspective, and then act accordingly. She is somebody who's very, very good at doing that. Um, she understands and she's very clear of the mind. So she understands what she's working towards and how she's going to get there. Um, and I think this is all part of the new vision here, Capricorn. It's a beautiful energy. You know, the world card is a card of success, accomplishment. Some of you have been tested, but you're coming through the other side of a situation victoriously. This is a card of you will win. You will win through. You are going to be victorious here. You are going to be successful. You are going to find a level of accomplishment here. But you need to evaluate here. Your challenge is to evaluate what you put your time and energy on. Um, because, you know, the, the world card is a card of success. It's also a card of worldly success. It's a card of stepping through into a new phase of your life as well. And certainly with this Page of Pentacles, I feel this can be linked link with the, the Knight of Wands in the sense that there could be opportunity here ahead for you. Um, it's Earth energy, so it's very much in terms of what you're working towards. You are an Earth sign. It's the beginnings of abundance as well. So, you know, the Peacock represents abundance in tarot amongst other things so it's almost kind of like this is the first step this is the first opportunity this is the first action that you need to take to bring abundance into your life and also a new level of solidity and stability that you've been working towards now could be linked like i said with an opportunity coming your way uh, but the page of pentacles can also be an apprentice training or retraining getting qualifications uh, starting a business venture, getting financial loans, uh, doing the CVs to send off to open up communication lines with somebody um, or recruitment agents or whatever this is. Um, it might just be you doing the practical things that you need to get to, to bring value, security, solidity, safety into your life. Um, it's a positive energy. The pages are the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. And I feel it's when you go through all this, turn your back on things that aren't worth your time and energy and focus very much on what is worth your time and energy here uh, to bring real gain into your life. But I do feel for some of you, there is success or accomplishment ahead. You know, it's a wonderful energy, the world card. It's such a powerful energy of you've gone through some deep experiences, but you know, there's victory and success ahead. So it's a beautiful message. What do we have for Capricorn, please, Angel Spirits Guides? Message for Capricorn, please. Yeah, we have light. The Fairy Queen of Light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. Yeah, and I do feel for some of you, you are absolutely getting clarity, enlightenment, illumination. That is what the Hermit does in seeing the way forward now. It's a lovely energy. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Capricorn. I, if you enjoyed the reading, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.